Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so a very fun integral here and I'm going to show you like a super efficient solution. So to start, notice that the given integral is the same as this here. And I don't think it requires much explanation, but basically you have like 1 plus 1 here, that makes 2. Factor out the 1 half and then minus x squared and x squared in the numerator cancel, but we have that 2 in the numerator. So 1 half times 2 gets us back to 1, otherwise the denominator is the same, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, let's call the first of these two integrals A and the second B. And let's begin working on A. So in A, uh, which is this integral here, the first thing we should do is divide everything that we see in the numerator and denominator by x squared as I've done here, yeah? Okay, and if we do, then it simplifies to this here. And that's fairly straightforward algebra, right? Okay, now, from here, I'm going to factor out a negative 1 from the numerator. And so if we do, then we're going to get... Uh, this here right okay cool and also I've done something else which is in the denominator I've written 1 over x squared plus x squared as 1 over x plus x all squared which is 1 over x squared plus x squared but it also has this here also has a plus 2 so to make up for the plus 2 that we get here that's not here I've subtracted this 2 yeah okay cool now this is a pretty important um, rearrangement of this because uh, now what we can do is claim that this here 1 over x plus x is u and if we do the numerator here with dx is exactly du okay yeah so I'm saying let's let u equal um, 1 over x plus x which is the same as x plus 1 over x and perhaps in this writing of this here you can see that the derivative is exactly 1 minus 1 over x squared dx yeah okay cool and so we see that the given integral is the same as this here yeah that is the integral a okay now of course we see that what we have to do is partial fraction decomposition and so we begin in this manner and so from here uh, we know that what we must claim is that 1b equal to um, a times uh, you see it you see it you see it yeah okay this is not a video on partial fraction decomposition so I'm not going to talk you through the details too much but yeah from here if we like u equal um, this u here equal root 2 then notice this is going to say root 2 minus root 2 which is 0 right so the beta part is going to go to 0 and so we get um, that first the substitution of root 2 would look like this and as I said in this part we get uh, beta times 0 so uh, we have uh, this equation reducing to 1 is equal to 2 root 2 alpha from which we see that alpha is 2 divided 1 divided by 2 root 2 right okay okay you can see it you can see it all right and so then um, if we let u equal negative root 2 in this equation then this time it's going to help us solve for beta because the alpha part is going to go to zero and so we see that uh, what we're going to get is beta is equal to negative one divided by two root two so uh, we come back to this right and so substitute for alpha with the value we found same with beta and so our integrand can be replaced by this um, sum where we know alpha and beta now right but we need space so let's get rid of some okay so then our integral is this which turns to this because I can factor out a 1 divided by 2 root 2 both from this part and this part and put this minus sign in place of that plus sign right there and so I get this since we already had a 1 half that's why I have a 4 right there yeah okay cool 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 and of course this here is an easy antiderivative it's the natural log of uh, u minus root 2 divided by uh, u plus uh, root 2, right? Okay, so we see that uh, the integral a is that, and of course we recall that what we said was u is this here, so we call back what we said was u, and so a is this, yeah? Okay, fine, plus c, uh, but we also are going to get a plus c from b, uh, but I've only had, as you'll see, I only have one plus c, uh, that uh, which comes with a okay 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 so let's go to the integral b uh, so the integral b is this guy right okay which is this to start and again what we do is divide everywhere by um, x squared and so what we do we get this which reduces to this okay cool now this time what, what we're going to do is in the denominator here write 1 over x squared plus x squared as 1 over x minus x all squared but then we'll have to do plus 2 yeah okay you should know you should be able to see why uh, we should rewrite this here uh, and this perfect square plus two first of all this here is equal to this 
But yeah, rewriting it in this fashion allows us to claim that this is you, where du is exactly that, right? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Um, well, du is exactly this and dx, but you get it, you get it. So then now the integral b reduces to, with the substitution that I've already mentioned, it reduces to this. Okay, so this is almost tan inverse, right? Uh, but we have a little bit of work to do which is we do this, which is in order for us to have tan inverse, this uh, plus two right here needs to be a one. So to do that, we factor out a two from this denominator. And when we factor out a two from this denominator, we're gonna have to write u squared over two, but that's the same as writing u over root two all squared, right? Okay, so that should be good. And now we could throw this two with this two in a denominator, right? So right, this is a quarter, right? Okay, and then once we do that, um, we have uh, the integrand looking like this, nice and clean. And of course now it's tan inverse of u over root two, but we have to do a little something to compensate. And I'll explain. Uh, that little something that we have to compensate is multiply this one by root two. And that's because like, ignore this uh, root two for a second. Had we had had one over four tan inverse of u over root two, the antiderivative would be one over four and then times one over uh, this squared, which we have plus one. But then by chain rule, we have to multiply by one over root two, right? Uh, the derivative of this argument. Uh, and we don't have a one over root two here. And so to make up for it, we multiply by root two, yeah? But otherwise, all we have left to do in the integral b is call back what we said was u, which is right here. And so if we do, then we see that the integral b has final answer this. And so the final answer to the given integral this is uh, a, which is this, plus b, which is this, plus c, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Lots more to come. Take care.